Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Paul Yester here and today I have a little hodgepodge of a few newsy Dead by Daylight items I want to share with you quickly. So let's jump right into it. We're going to start out with this tweet here from yesterday talking about Tome 5 of the Archives. The destructive instinct, fighting, torturing, killing, experiences buried deep within our hearts waiting for the slightest provocation to be unleashed. Tome 5 Unleashed is coming next week to the Archives, hashtag DBD Archives, etc. So we see this image here, and the man holding the Oris has to be the observer, right? We always see the back of the man sitting in the chair holding this Oris in his hand. For the first time here, we have a face reveal, and I gotta say, I think it looks a lot like Felix. I believe this is Felix's father. I could be completely wrong about that. I hope we get some more lore in um, this Tome of the Archives to dig into the observer's background a little bit more here. My personal belief is that the entity has been unable to get the observer and assume the form of Felix's father to trick Felix into following what he thought was his father into the fog. And this is a ploy by the entity to lure out the observer now that he would see that his son is in the fog to try and catch him because he's been unable to do it to this point. I don't know. We'll see. That's just my theory. Anyway, in this image here, we see the hillbilly with this pig head on and um, this new Nia outfit and the Blight Blight outfit here where the Blight has the Blight flowers growing out of his face, which leads me into the next thing that we're going to talk about in this tweet here by Dead by Daylight, which talks about the Eternal Blight event beginning on October the 21st. And we see the Blight Blight here performing the Mori in the Red Forest. And it says the Eternal Blight is going to be the name of this event. It's going to run from October 21st to November the 4th. And they did a follow-up tweet on that, that there's going to be a developer stream later today, which I'm going to live stream react to. That's going to give us all these details about the Eternal Blight, what's going to be in it, how it's going to work. And it says here, but what's in the event, you ask? Well, I'll tell you, hypothetical question asker. Join us at 2 p.m. Eastern over at twitch.tv Dead by Daylight for more. So this stream is going to explain how the event is going to work. And, um, you know, if you don't want to go over there to Twitch and watch it and see a bunch of people comment toxicity in their chat, you can come over and hang out with me either on YouTube or uh, Twitch and we'll watch it together. Now, last thing, I guess, is going to be uh, we have a new community manager who has joined the team named Kyle. And Kyle gave us another redemption code here. So it gives us these instructions. Redeem code. Enter the code you wish to redeem below. Nice. And you get 69 blood points for that. Oh my. I, I, I know it's not much, but I don't want you to feel like I am uh, holding out on you. So I want you to be able to get every possible blood point code that there is. So, uh, yeah, Kyle's given us the 69. Yeah. Okay, so let's go enter that in here now. So let's bring up the game of Dead by Daylight, because I have not put this code in. It's been out for a few days now, but I haven't put the code in. Oh, what is this? Link behavior account. Link Dead by Daylight to a behavior account to gain access to the following. Shared progression when playing on other platforms, access to future rewards for Dead by Daylight, and more. Please go to the following website to create and link your behavior account. Web address is account.behavior.com. Okay, so let's go there, question mark. Let's see here now. Um... Okay, account.behavior.com. Progress, synchronize, play, or progress. Register now and synchronize your progress across your Steam and Stadia accounts today with more platforms coming soon. Okay, now, dial it back a second. When it says more platforms coming soon, we all hope that PlayStation and Xbox are going to be included in this, but the only one that we've had confirmed officially that's coming soon is uh, Nintendo Switch. So, yes, I'm as hopeful as you are 
that we will have cross progress across all platforms. I'm sure they're working very hard to make that happen. They just have to get Sony and Microsoft to agree to it. But it's not confirmed that it's coming. So, you know, just uh, mitigate your expectations here on what's going to happen. All right. So create account. Let's see. Okay. So this is register accounts for Stadia and Steam. Synchronize your progression. Keep your DLCs and cosmetics. So this is going to be great for me because as some of you have seen, I have played two sessions of Stadia on stream and allowed you all to use the crowd choice to tell me what to do. So once I do this, I will have my full catalog of characters with all of their perk progress and all the DLCs and cosmetics I bought on Stadia. So that's where you go to do this to create the count. Obviously, I'm not going to do that live here on stream for you so we'll just park that idea back to the game okay so we read your news thing thank you very much we're just here to get our 69 blood points so we're gonna go in the store and then up here at the top redeem code and i see very nice <laughs> all right here we go redeem there it is a whole whopping 69 blood points for you today okay i think that's all i have for you um we'll know more in a couple of hours when that dev stream comes out and they talk to us about the halloween event looking forward to it october 21st that's just a couple days after my birthday october 21st to november the 4th looking forward to it that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribing's free and take care of each other in and out of the fog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.